situation, but you got to let things go. And I'm thankful that I let it go. You got to. You got to have it to keep. The Lord brought that all about. And you know, it's so strange when you think about how these things come about and you know that the Lord had a hand in it to get it at this time. And I am so thankful for that. I'm thankful for my family. I'm thankful for my church. I love you all. But to see Clarence this morning up there waiting for him and praising the Lord, that brings joy. Amen. I don't know what it does for others, but you know what it does for me. And in my class this morning, I just had Abbott. But I had a lot of points I felt like that we could talk about to bring out. And I thought, how many people nowadays really don't know this Savior? know that, the, that he was prophesied in the Old true. Testament that it's true. Our Bible is written. It's true. And we got to believe it. Amen. And I brought that out to her this morning, the different things that from the Old Testament we brought it about that he was prophesied in the news. And we can't change these things and thank God we can't. It means a lot to me. Okay. Lord and Savior. And I'm thankful to be here. I'm thankful to serve this great I can't put it into words. How great God is. How awesome. I am so thankful. Amen. As we're singing, how great thou art. I can't put it into words what he means to me and how great he is and how he has come about to do things to make a change in our lives. It's wonderful. Bless you. Bless you, honey. Bless you. Bless you. Bless you. Bless you. Bless you. Anyone else? Something you like to say to the Lord? Well, I'm going to stand and say to you this morning. Good. I'm thankful to my Lord and Savior. You know, we, I stood here last Sunday and Roy Hutt was uh, teaching on worrying. I brought it out in his message about worrying and the thought went my head. You know, you can't keep a mother from worrying. It's not, it, it, it's her natural instinct to have her family. But you know, we, when we have the Lord in our lives, you know, we can pray and we can talk to him and we can tell him. And we can rest assured Truth. that he hears what we say. What we say. You know, the other evening, Jim and Misty and the dough from the can had us for the farm. Five minutes after they pulled out of the driveway, they started giving tornadoes uh, warnings for Danville and Walton. And they said that they couldn't confirm it, but they thought that there was one much bank. I started praying. I said, Lord, we're heading right into it. They come home that night. They took that storm straight ahead of them every step of the way. But they didn't get in at all. I got to give my God praise for that. Bless you, I've got a son this morning that's out on the river. He can't swim. His buddy that's got the boat happens to be the one that wrecked them a few years back and put them in a creek upside down over on the street. He, that bothers me. Sure. Because if he can't drive that boat any better than he drives a car. <laughs> Two thirty this morning. <laughs> I was awake in bed. I was saying, Lord, please watch over them. Keep them safe. And if I didn't have that trust and that faith to the belief, well, my God's going to answer that prayer. Where would I be right now? I'd be mess right now. And I just want to give him praise. You, I love him with all my heart. And he's been so good to me. Bless you.
just realize, take inventory of our life, and realize that there's something missing. And then the Lord, the Lord will show you. Yeah, so. It's me. It's me you're missing, you know. And if they just where they are, they can accept the Lord. Right, right. They don't have to be here at an altar. They can accept the Lord and accept the Lord in their work. If you're driving down the road, we used to hear the guy in Central Florida tell about, he was a truck driver, tell about he stopped along the road and he was saved right there in his truck. He's there. He's there for you. Amen. Right. time that people will just humble themselves and just, just ask forgiveness and he'll open your heart and he just comes in. Right. And it's like he puts a new heart in you. Bless you, God. He's not the same anymore. Right. So thankful.
Thank the dear today. Thank the good Lord walked on with us there in that hell storm. We get dark coming up again there, and I said, Well, there goes our guard. It's going to hit a hell storm. Looked out a little bit, heard things hit the ground. I said, No, you break it over here, look. The biggest golf balls, <laughs> baseballs. He said, Well, it's going to get on the flyers. It's going to get the garden. We bent the hood on different vehicles in the bottom there and looked out and Little tomato plants up about that tall. Oh, they're nice. They didn't even bother. She said, Well, got all my flowers. Run around the house. Didn't hurt the flowers or rose bushes or nothing. Hitting the windows, you know, sound like the wind. She said, Let's get away from the window before busting the windows out. Good Lord had a hand in watching over all that stuff and taking care of it. Help me. I knew if I'd have one outside, it'd probably knock me out. I'd have been laying on the inside right now. You never see I never all my life there and then never seen nothing like that. We don't know what Lord's in control, so that's whatever. 
he gets the Lord, that's what we got to say. Bless. Amen. I'm just thankful he walked over to take care of us. Just pray for us. Me and her and our family. Bless. Amen. I'm pretty yeah. sure if a hell storm would have knocked you out, she would have waited until it was over before she drug you back in. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm pretty sure you're right, Jim. <laughs> Anyone else? Something you'd like to say before? Brother Roy, I kind of filter water in. He might want to check that out. Two steps. Huh? Get two steps in there. Bless you, brother. The wife either I'm going to go in the back and tuck your shirt there in to finish it off. Thankful there's no person here but didn't worry about it. Shirts are small in the East Bay. We'll start back in Genesis and take us just in a little journey of time here right up to the birth of Jesus Christ. And as we know in the theatrics of the world today, people will believe almost anything. They'll believe in evolution, they'll believe in any political background of whatever people want to believe. And people have a choice. The Christians believe that Adam was the first man. Because we believe in where it starts right here in the creation of what the Bible says. And according to Genesis chapter 1, he created Adam and Eve, both male and female. That they could and we could as people produce other people. And not only people, but the animals and all the things, be it that the God created, He created from the earth. Of course, then there's the evolution theory. And I, I, I'll tell you, if you think that man came from a monkey, you must think that God put His foot on the back of His head and pulled His tail off somewhere. That's evolution. The question is, who made the monkey? Well, I don't have to ask who made it. I know. Mm -hmm. Now, so then we have, if you don't eat, or if you eat of the tree of knowledge of good and evil, you'll surely die. But, now in this teaching of biblical history, people are still alive either up here or down here. And there's all kinds of gravestones. Graveyards are full of people, right? Now, the Bible said that Adam died. And I believe he still did. And that Moses died and he's buried. And David died and buried. Now you can question in your mind because all of us have been to a funeral and all of us have seen some sad things and broken hearts, but when you leave this world, but there's one who died and is alive. Only one. They may teach some Buddha out here or some unknown God as the apostle uh, Paul went to Athens and he seen on that journey that there was an altar there that said to the unknown gods whom you worship. That's the God a lot of people worship because I hear them even in the political realm we'll pray for you. Never use the name of Jesus but I'm going to be careful about names because I said I don't, I don't want to be careful. Yeah, be careful. <laughs> but I want you to know that God, when he looked at Adam and Adam sinned, that God knew he sinned. Now I want you to know that God knows everything about you. If your smile is fake, he knows. If you say you love me and you don't, he 
No, don't. Well, I appreciate that. That's good. I believe. But I believe that right there. <laughs> now, he knows if people are involved in a congregation or a church, he knows not only if your smile is fake, some people are there for what they can take. Take from somebody else, or he knows if you're really a friend and he's a friend indeed, a friend that stays. God knows. He walks with you and he talks with you because you have him here. He sees. Just as Adam was walking and God saw him in the garden, they tried to hide. When Cain slew Abel, he knew. He knows if you're a Christian, if the Spirit is in your life or not. That's why he has the gospel. That's why he gave to people the truth to set you free from sin, right? He knows that Judas was going to betray him. He knew. He said, one of you here is going to betray me. When you read the scriptures through the several disciples that followed many times when there came a disagreement or there came something when he described about the communion and he talked about eating my flesh and to drink my blood, when he discussed that, people said, I, I don't believe that. I, I don't believe you're going to die. I don't believe you're going to resurrect and several people went another way. Well, I tell you, you get in the traffic on Sunday morning, a lot of people going another way. They just believe nothing. And I've said this, I, I believe people deserve a vacation. I believe people need to see their family. Glad to have you, Lucy. I'm serious, I, I believe that. But if all the time there's something else to do or somewhere else to go, when do you have time to worship the Lord and to worship Him in spirit and truth? You can worship the Lord at home. Praise God. He has made this so simple that a wayfaring individual can worship the Lord just as Brother Lord sits on the porch and at the name of Jesus, the devil has to flee. The enemy has to leave when you stay in a righteous mind. So God, who created Adam from the dust of the ground, breathed into his nostrils, he became a living soul, and Adam died. And the Bible says that was the first man was Adam, and Eve, his wife, is the mother of all living. So we reproduce as people. So God sent his son, Jesus Christ, because Adam sinned a perfect individual who never sinned you can believe some monkey has hung from their tail in a tree or some ancestor by their neck <laughs> however you want to believe I believe that God created man Amen. and they ain't a monkey business in it Amen. that's just the Bible that's what the Bible and I also believe according to the Bible I'm not telling you what I believe so you'll believe it I'll tell you the gospel that God sent us the second man, Jesus Christ, from heaven. And God came to, and that child was born of a woman whose name is Mary. And yes, Mary had a little lamb. Yeah. It just comes out. Now Jesus Christ who was born was born by his father. This is simple. This is Bible. Sometimes I go back just to remember where he brought me from. That in the simplicity of the plan that God brought forth a son. And his name is Jesus, which means Savior, Messiah, Leader. Uh, look, this, this, this great man of Christ is the only one that can give you eternal life. Amen. Amen. You can't fake this 
thing. Oh, maybe people try. Look, I know that there is a church realm of people who worship different. I love to be like, Lord, I've danced, I've shouted, I've been up over this altar and all this. But I'll tell you, I ain't never been slain in the spirit to where I didn't know what was going on. Passed out and something thought over me. Wake me up and say, man, we had a good time, didn't we? I'm like, where was it? When you're slain, you're dead, right? Look, church, this gospel has to edify the church. I've got to tell you about Jesus Christ, the Savior, that forgives you of your sins, that you can walk in the newness of life, that you can be forgiven. That all your sins, look, I'm going to tell you that I care that you were addicted to drugs because I've been there. I care that you were an alcoholic, not mentioning any names or pointing at anybody. <laughs> Picking on anybody. Or one of cold beers. Shame on you. <laughs> you know what? We'll still take you back, won't we? Yeah. You see what I mean? We'll still take you back. Even though he was lost, when he come in here, we said, we'll keep you. You see, we're forgiven. See what God did by sending here. You can't keep. You, water and oil doesn't mix. The flesh and the salvation wars against itself. It's a spiritual warfare. And thank God for it because when you have that warfare... That spiritual warfare, God wants you to know he chastises those whom he loves. If God be for you, who can be against you? I have a desire to serve the Lord, not to forsake the assembling of ourselves together as often as some do. It makes it easy, right? Oh, I'm not saying. Look. Norma. Went to see her at the hospital. That must have been some good medicine she's on. Watch out. <laughs> I'll tell you, she's laying there 80 plus years old with a broken hip. You couldn't shut her up. I mean to tell you, that gal was wound up on something. I, I just about ready to share an IV. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, my wife's group. <laughs> I'm just kidding, honey. <laughs> hey. <Up here. laughs> Watch out. But you, know you know what our concern is? I want to get back to church. Yeah. I want to get back with the people. I, I want to get back with God's people. I, I want to feel that. I want to feel this. Now, it, I know we go by faith and not by feelings, but we need to feel this presence. You need, you need to sometimes, if you, don't, if you don't feel the presence of God, don't go looking to God and blaming Him. Let's get down a little bit closer. Let's get to praying a little bit. Let's get to thanking God more than asking. Sometimes we just need to thank Him. Amen. We need to praise Him just like Gary stood and praised the Lord and, and people thank the Lord. Or, you know, when you have to make this up, Okay, everybody's watching me now. <laughs> you see that? <laughs> but when it just comes out of there, Amen. when it just comes out of there, when it just is one, it's, you see everything that the Lord does will edify the church. We're here to learn about this gospel. So Jesus, he died. David died. His sepulcher, according to Acts, is still with us unto this day. He's buried. But Jesus, when he was buried, and the stone rolled to the door and sealed and guards all around on that bright and early morning, the stone was rolled away, and he's not there. He's risen. Praise he's God. Amen. And he's alive. How do you know? Because I got a chill bump up my arm. Amen. He's alive today because he brought you here. Amen. 
all the way from South Carolina. North Carolina. Hey, I've got my tuck mixed up with my shirt and my shirt tuck stuff. Which that don't wherever Carolina is, and you ain't the first one ever wore shorts, and I hope you ain't the last. Is that fair? God has no respect for Christ. What did he say? No. <laughs> You was doing good. <laughs> you see, God is the God of the living. Now, there'll be a resurrection, and he knows where the dead are. But whether you claim him or you don't, he's still God. And he'll be your God. And he ascended into the heavens. I'm telling you what the Bible says, okay? First man, Adam. Adam sinned. Eve sin, reproduction, Cain slew Abel, the value of time and life, and wars, rumors of wars, pain, Jesus was murdered, crucified, rose from the dead, ascended into the heavens, but he gave us a promise. Bless you. The Holy Spirit. If I go away, I'll send it to you. No, I don't talk in tongues. But I got a new one when I was forgiven. I quit using that filthy mouth. That was a new tongue for me. It was. That was a new tongue. It said, be holy in all conversation, right? Boo. A little kick on you, man. I said, we got one. The church has got a church. 
But for me, I don't have to change. Y'all's the church. Amen. I'm just a part of it. Right. So let's do it and do it right. And let's hope. Let's hope and believe because he lives. You live also. Right? We shout for the winning team. We're on the winning team. And if you believe somewhere that God dug that monkey down and pressed on the bottom of your head and jerked his tail out, you're led the wrong direction. <laughs> Let's give God a great big hand. Oh, we must leave. Uh, I understand Carl, he's in his 90 plus. Pauline had to leave, bless her heart. So let's all stand if you would. And let's get a song. Roger. Just get a song there and we'll, we'll sing. And hopefully if there's anyone. We want to gather around. Now don't leave it. And just we want to gather around uh, uh, the girl shorter and everything. Glass. Glass. She wanted to be a noise. So we'll do that.